In July 2022, our family enjoyed a vacation at Yellowstone National Park in Grand Teton National Park. This was a month after Yellowstone's historic flood that closed the north and northeast entrances. Due to this, we saw no traffic congestion or crowds except moderately while watching bison. We drove our rented United Access minivan from Salt Lake City through the west gate in the afternoon. All nights were booked a year in advance at the Canyon Lodge central to the north and south loops. Our wheelchair accessible room had a large bathroom with a tub and grab bars adjustable windows, a refrigerator, coffee maker, but no AC, TV, or microwave. The Canyon Village had the large assortment of good quality foods at reasonable prices. Cell phone service is not existent in the park, except I was told you could get a Verizon signal, and also the hotels had Wi-Fi. I encourage everyone to download the very helpful National Park Service app. All of the scenic stops have handicapped parking, sidewalk cutouts, and accessible paths. The Southwest Loop having the smoothest boardwalks of the four quadrants. Hayden Valley in the southeast will be full of bison and some elk during the day and night depending on when the herd arrives in the summer. In one evening, we saw bison, elk, a coyote, a fox, and a bear. We picnicked a lot. Accessible picnic tables were easily found under shade trees along the fast-running Yellowstone River and near ice-cold Yellowstone Lake and throughout the park. For five nights, we evenly saw each quadrant and the loops and a free day to relax visiting things we missed, like sipping a delicious cappuccino in the Grand Yellowstone Lake Hotel or grabbing stones with our toes in a stream. Beautiful panoramic views occurred up the steep drive of Dunraven Pass in the Northeast Quadrant. The Southwest Quadrant can be tiresome for some long walks to view the geysers. We ended at Old Faithful with benches for viewing and dining afterwards. Some tips for you. Cars will come to a screeching halt to see a wild animal. Binoculars and sunscreen are a must and prepare for extremes of weather from 30 degrees to 90 degrees. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, Gibbon Falls, and others had paved walkways directly adjacent to steep cliffs, giving expansive vistas for everyone. Flanked walkways got me right up to Mammoth's Hot Springs, the Mud Volcano, and the Great Fountain Geyser, the Fountain Paint Pots, and others. After Yellowstone, we headed south to the Grand Tetons. We stayed one night at the Headswaters log cabins where we got a roll-in shower. The park is a single loop, visible in one day stopping at the Mormon Road to find the house, the Cunningham cabin for the fence, and Snake River Overlook to find the Ansel Adams photograph before driving parallel along Snake River upstream to our cabin. Many stops along the way are paved or smooth to take photos of this majestic mountain range. This was a very accessible vacation for us. These parks are on the tops of the list of places to visit in America, and I highly recommend getting out there to see them.